Hello and welcome to vlog number I have no idea anymore, really clueless. It is Monday the 12th of April and if you are in England I'm not quite sure about the Welsh, Scottish and Northern Irish rules so let's just say in England you will know that today is the day that bookshops reopen. There's a lot of things that have reopened which I'm excited about. My tattooist but he's booked up until 2022 so that's not going to be happening and not like I have any ideas anyway. I feel like just going and getting another random piercing because I can um, but yeah I'm just so happy that everything seems to be on its way back to normal and I feel really happy about it. There are some records I need to drop back off at the office um, from clients so I'm gonna organise that so that I get over an hour in town for my lunch break and I can go to Waterstones, I can go to some charity shops and just treat myself. My book haul this month as I said is the 12th, I'm already filling a full shot shout <laughs> i'm already fin filling a full shelf on my book cart of just hold books this month but the world is crap i cried on a live stream last night because of how much i miss coal so if you're telling me i can't go buy books in a charity shop just because i may have hauled too many already this month I don't care. I'm going to go do it anyway. But let's talk you through my reading plans for this week. I am working right now, but I thought I'd just jump in, do a quick update to start the vlog because that's always the bit I forget to do. I don't have two intense plans this week. I'm hoping these are all going to be quick reads, but I am starting a buddy read today with Rhiannon at the Welsh Reader, and that is Harrow Lake by Kat Ellis. This is a YA horror and that's all I really know about it. I'm going to be aiming to do 50 pages a day of this. So the first chunk I've got up to page 55. I've got hiccups. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, a horror. So I'm excited for this because I've been reading a lot of contemporary. And on that note, here's the first contemporary I want to read, which is Startled by His Furry Shorts by Louise Renison. This is book number seven of the George Nicholson series. And I normally read these in one sitting. There's not much to them. So hopefully today I can do my chunk of this and at least 50% of this. Um, Rachel is doing reading sprints. So I'll be list. I'll be on the comments of those and hopefully getting a lot of this read. My next plan is to read The 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. Uh, this little tab is in because it was in one of my books I'm Daunted by videos and I read a single chapter in that video. I'm still a bit scared to dive into this but I've heard such amazing things from other people in the community that I just I need to give it a go really and stop being so against it. So yeah I'm gonna read this one. And then my other plan is my reread of Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. Don't panic, not the Twilight one. This is much shorter. Um, I'm not going to promise to read actual Midnight Sun again in a week. But I've read this twice. I first read it at the end of 2018 and then I read it at the start of 2020. So it feels about time to give this another go. This is such a lovely book. It's always a five star from me. And there is an amazing movie with Bella Thorne that I really like. So for a whole week's reading from me, this seems pretty achievable. Saying that, I am trying to do the 30 books in 30 days. Well, on the 12th, I've read 13 books. So let's say 14. What day? What date does the week end on? Okay, so the week ends on the 18th. So let's say 14, 15, 16, 17. Did I say 18? Maybe I also need to read another book. Maybe we'll plan for Daisy Jones and the Six too. I don't know. I'm not going to push myself. I just want to have a good week this week. It's also this week that I get my exam results from that horrible exam I did. Um, I get those on Friday. So we will see what happens there. I'm either going to be celebrating on Friday night with a bottle of champagne or drinking my sorrows with a straw into a bottle of wine. So it's going to be a messy weekend regardless. Um, but yeah, we will see what the reason is going to be for when we get there. So on that note, I better get back to work so that in a bit I can leave and go and do some book shopping. All right, so I just got home and I have some things to show you. Um, I came back to a massive box on my doorstep, well, inside the building. Um, that isn't supposed to be here till Friday, so I didn't stay in for it. And yeah. So the first thing I have is my replacement of Beautiful Broken Things. Um, I ordered it a couple weeks ago and I got a copy that was missing the first 30 pages. So this does actually start on page one. Yay, we are happier now. Then I went to a charity shop and I got four books for £2. I got two Lisa Jules books. I got Then She Was Gone 
and watching you. I know these aren't the most popular ones, but two for a pound, couldn't say no to some Lisa Jewell after how much India hypes them up. Then uh, another two for a pound deal. The first one I got was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I know this isn't massively my cup of tea, but I've been dying to try it if I found it really cheap. My watch is telling me to breathe, I'm out of breath. I've heard so much about it, especially with Ready Player Two coming out, and I just wanted to give it a go. So I did for 50p. The other one I can't believe I found 50p is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I'm buddy reading this with Christina next week, and I'd been complaining that I had it on my Kindle, I wanted a physical copy, and now I do have a physical copy. So that is exciting. Then let's unpackage this one. This is from Bookswap, but I can't remember what I ordered from Bookswap genuinely not a clue especially not one that would be this big let me get my box cutters so we love these little things it is the hermes lady that smells like smoke this is really packaged well i am amazed we've got bubble wrap inside a bubble wrap packaging of course it is how could i forget Oh, my first swap. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the book. It's The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor. She's thrown a bookmark in as well. I absolutely love the quality of this to get on Bookswap. So I won't rave about Bookswap again, but just make sure if you're not signed up, sign up using my affiliate link in the description. I get a free book when you order a book and it's just a win-win. So yeah, we have The Burning Girls. Amazing. Then let's go. I went to Waterstones. And I actually feel like a bit of a dick, like I feel like a horrible person because I bought adult and middle grade books, which is not, I am a YA person, but I was in the YA section and there were like younger kids. I want to say one of them was about eight and the girl must have been about 12 and they were just in the way. And then I felt bad as an adult trying to get to the young adult books that they were in my way and I was getting frustrated. And I was like, why do I deserve to be able to look at the shelves when they're blocking all of them? It's silly. How they're arranged is in a corner. So the two kids were looking at one in the corner. So they were blocking me getting anywhere near them in however many meters of a radius. Like I could not get to see the shelves. So I just had to kind of hover away. And then I gave up and bought adult and middle grade which isn't me, but like, I'm fine with it. Like, I'm kind of really glad at what I've picked up. So the first one is Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow um, by Benjamin Dean. How did I forget his name? This was one that was on my wish list and it disappeared and it never arrived here. So I kind of gave up and bought it myself. Um, I tried to find out who had bought it and it hadn't arrived. And yeah, I just didn't, um, could not find out why it disappeared. So grabbed a copy for myself. Everyone raves about this and I just wanted to get my hands on it. Then I got another one that I've heard loads about and that is A Kind of Spark by Al McNichol. A kind of Spark is a story about courage, friendship and what it means to be different. And yeah, I just heard really amazing things. It's only a little short one, so I might read it for 30 reads in 30 days. Um, but yeah, I decided to give it a go. Then the adult books, I got Adults by Emma Jane Unsworth which I'd heard good things about, so I thought, why not give it a go? This is Jenny McLean can't afford her mortgage since her ex moved out, is about to get dumped by her best friend and spends all day online stalking women with picture-perfect lives. And now her mother has appeared on her doorstep, unbidden to save the day. Is Jenny ready to grow up and rescue herself this time? And it looked cool, the cover drew me in, and I have heard a few things about this online. So yeah, just decide to give it a go. And then the final one is Exciting Times by... Um, Oh dear, why have I, don't know Irish names. They're always pronounced strangely. So it's covered up with a sticker. This person, <laughs> N Dolan, let's say that. But yeah, I heard Leanne talking about this one um, and it's apparently an Irish woman teaching English to Japanese kids, I think. Could be very wrong with that, but that's what we're going with. And yeah, all of these were on buy one, get one half price. And I had a £20 gift card. So that was a really good spend for me today. And the final thing that I can't believe was just left outside my door because it's expensive. is this massive box from Wilco. If you're not from the UK, Wilco is the lifesaver of a company who just sell everything. So, oh my God, here we go. I've got some fun things to set up tonight because I bought a printer. <laughs> of course I did. Um, it's just like a, a cheap, nothing amazing about it. Um, but I needed a Wi-Fi printer. Well, I needed any sort of printer, so I got myself a Wi-Fi one. I feel like it was a good purchase. 
And then I got some printer paper, not exciting. Also got an extension lead so that I can set this up, not exciting. Oh, then I grabbed some washi tape. They're not as cute as they looked online, but we've just got a few rolls of washi tape because I journal a lot. And I got another journal. I would not have bought this if I would have seen it in person, which is always upsetting. Um, it's not as nice as it looked on the website, I won't lie, especially for six pound. But yeah, we've got like a shiny gold edges notebook with this pen strap around it. I guess I will use it. I may make this my next journal after I've used the one I'm currently in. I'm getting like Halloween-y witch vibes, but it's cute. And I guess I should get on with my day. This has been a weird update. There's too much stuff here. I bought too many books. I got too stressed out in Waterstones. Who gave me the right to be a bitch today? I don't know. I really don't know. I was stressed out by people not wearing masks. The first charity shop I went in, we had a woman who, to speak, would pull her mask down. And I'm like, why have I gone out in this world that I keep complaining about? And then I've gone out today and I'm, I'm shocked that it's not right. Why am I shocked? I'm just gonna stay inside again. I've done my little binge of doing things. Let's not see anyone for a little while and just stay inside. Hello, in classic printer style, it's not working straight away. I don't care. We've just had an Amazon parcel. My next door neighbor knocked on the door and said the Amazon driver's done a runner and handed me my parcel. So we're gonna just roll with it. This is a chunky boy. Oh, what on earth is this? Why? Jade, stop. Oh my cry. <laughs> okay, so Jade, from paperback to hardback. I sent me Empire of Storms and Kate of Vash by Sarah J Maas. Um, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so, so much. Stop buying me things. So, um, Empire of Storms says, I've been catching up on your videos and this is for no other reason than because seeing your reactions to receiving gifts is so heartwarming. And then Kingdom of Ash says, just so you can continue tog along without any worries of not having the next book. Okay, so I don't even know what to say. The one thing I do actually need help with is Tower of Dawn is the only one I don't have and I can't find it in this like white edition. So help me. Um, yeah, I can't find it, but I don't really have anything to say. I'm just going to go cry. Hello, it is Tuesday. I'm not quite sure why my hair has settled like this. But yeah, just showered, so that's why I look a bit odd. Um, what is, why have I got like a quiff? Anyway, um, I realised I haven't updated yet today, so I wanted to give you a quick rundown of my reading. I had a massive to-do list for this evening. I will put it on the screen because I'm proud of this tweet because I now only have one thing left. So I guess I'll show you the tweet where it's all finished. But I've read two days worth of the body read with Rhiannon, which is Harrow Lake. I didn't read any of this last night. I don't think I've actually said. Last night, me and Cole watched our anime that we're watching together. Then we watched one episode of another anime and then we fell into a YouTube hole, but together. So we used the Watch Together website and we just both kept adding things to the playlist that we were finding. So we were watching the weirdest things, um, especially one of um, a, like a game. What's, what are they called? The game streamery people. My, my mind's gone blank. Um, is teased for being, I'm still holding this, is teased for being five foot three and they think she's really small. So that was just a fun experience. Um, but yeah, had to catch up today. So I read 97 pages of this in less than an hour. It reads very, very quickly. I have a full post-it note of things to talk to Rhiannon about because I have thoughts. So far, I like it, but I feel like they, there could be more to it. It needs a bit more fleshing out, I think in my opinion. I don't know. Don't know. Um, so yeah, the final thing to do on my to-do list is to start, start all by his fairy shorts. Um, I feel like I could do, I don't know, I, I'm not really in the motivation to read. I've edited the video that I've got going up on Thursday, which is my book club reads, and I've edited my Saturday video, which is my March a book haul. So I've done quite a lot tonight. I'm not really in the mood to read, but I'm just going to sit, wait till 
I get even more tired. I'll maybe have a cup of tea, get some biscuits, do some reading and then yeah, go to bed. Hello, it is Wednesday. I am technically my lunch break, kind of watching a webinar, kind of don't know what I'm doing. But my latest book swap parcel has arrived. That's not my address, never mind. <laughs> I panicked then. Um, I have touched this parcel for all of 10 seconds. And um, it is the uh, Hermes delivery woman that is a very heavy smoker. And it stinks. Like, <laughs> I don't mind the smell of cigarettes. Like, I really, really don't. Really off, off tangent now. Cole chews tobacco but when he was here because he was under 21 he couldn't fly with it some weird whatever was going on so you get to buy cigarettes so he would smoke in my car and I would have no issue but it's when like I've purchased something and it, it's impacting that it's just not fair but we have Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare a perfect edition paperback and I got this on Bookswap for £3.58 or whatever it is I am nowhere near getting to this point in the series, but for £3.58 for the brand new paperback of it, could you, could you turn it down? No. So I own this now. Hello. I realise I've been neglecting the vlog. Um, it's nearly 11 o'clock on Friday right now and I'm just very stressed. So I get the result of my exam at 12. I even talk like my voice is all wobbly. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, I'm really, really, really scared. I've not got out my pyjamas today. I'm working in my dressing gown. Like, I need the comfort. And yeah, I've got an hour and 20 minutes until we know whether I just wasted a couple months of my life and whether I've got to waste them all again, which is stressful. Right, let's put you here. And then I can give you a really quick book update just to distract myself for a minute. I do need to get back to work. But you, see, we could book the day off as holiday and lose a day's holiday because they know we won't work great but like i'm not gonna waste today's holiday to sit around Ooh, that's somebody saying good luck great thanks just stress me out that's why i'm i really appreciate getting good luck messages but at the same time i really don't want them because it just i could have forgot in that two minutes and it's back now anyway reading um oh harrow lake with all my notes on it i don't know whether i'm a broken person i'm not scared I'm reading things and I know they should be scaring me, but I'm not scared. So I don't know. I haven't actually spoken to Rhiannon about it yet. So I'll see whether she's been scared, but I've got that much left and nothing's bothered me at all. So maybe I am just a broken person. 13 Treasures, I started reading as well. I'm now on page 108. So really not read that much and it's getting better. But at the same time, I don't really care for it. It reads like a very old book. 2009, okay, it's not... So maybe this... I was about the age... I was 11 when this came out, so I probably should have been reading this when it came out. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the best feeling from it, because I wasn't interested in this sort of stuff at that age. I don't know. Either way, I'm reading two decent books, but nothing that's blowing me away. I'm going to check my messages, because somebody obviously wants my attention. Um, but yeah, I'm stressed. So I guess you'll hear from me in about an hour. Let's just hope it's good news, otherwise the rest of this vlog is going to be me drunk and upset, so yeah. <laughs> I passed! <laughs> okay, I'm fine. How they expect me to go back to work right now, I do not know. Um, but yeah, we have happy tears for once in a vlog, oh my god. I am going to get out my pyjamas go into town, get myself some treats, um, like take an early lunch, go get some treats because <sighs> I'm so proud of myself.
so I hope you enjoyed that montage. I've been charity book shopping. Um, I came out with 10 books that cost me £10, so I couldn't not. I'll show you what I got. There was a deal with three, three adult books. Buy three adult books, get one free. Buy three children's books, get three free. And I think there is somebody involved in the booktube community who is donating to this charity shop. You will see why I think so in a second. I managed to get two books that were on my Amazon wish list within this as well, so I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, let's just start off with Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I added this to my wish list two days ago, I think. Somebody was talking about it. At this point, I have no idea who it actually was. Um, but Victoria bought me The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Um, and I heard that this is really messed up too. So excited. Next, a really controversial one. I got The Silent Patient by Alex Michael Michaelides. People say this is awful, people say this is good. When it basically was gonna cost me a pound, I thought, let's give it a go. Uh, the other one that was on my wish list, I got The Lovely Bones by Alice Seabold. So I read this when I was, oh, there's a weird stain on it. I read this when I was really, really young. Oh, as did Jane Sylvie in November 2002. Wow, that's cute. Um, but yeah, I read this when I was far too young to read it and I wanna go back and really appreciate it. So to find a hardback that was gonna cost me a pound and is in pretty good condition minus the weird stain, I'm gonna do it. I then couldn't figure out which book I wanted for free, so I grabbed another Karen Slaughter. I got blindsided. Um, I'm not gonna go into what these books are about because I'm actually about to sit down and film my book haul for this month because it's excessive. So I don't wanna talk about it twice within this period of time, but these are the adult books I got. Then the reason I think there is somebody in the booktube community, um, I got The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I've heard so many things about this. Is that a completely ripped page? Oh dear. Oh well, we can fix that. That's fine. That's actually very ripped. We're missing a page. It's fine. We can we can figure it out. <laughs> then I got The House with Chicken Legs by Sophie Anderson. Again, heard so many th things through Booktube. Um, so must be. And then The Explorer by Catherine Rendell, which was a um, middle grade monthly pick at some point. And God, it's chunky. But yeah, all of these make me believe that there is a booktube person in this, um, like locally to this bookshop. So these technically I paid for, and then the books I got for free, I got the Penguin English Library edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I did have a really chunky um, Barnes & Noble leather bound edition of Alice, and I just didn't need it around, but I gave it to Laura for her birthday because I just knew she'd appreciate it more than I did. So I thought I'd get this little copy just to keep around because I didn't hate it, and I feel like it's, going to be a nice thing to revisit. It does have Through the Looking Glass in here as well. And yeah, it just might be quite sweet if I need a quick read. I then got one of my favourite childhood authors. I got Cherry Crush by Kathy Cassidy. I never actually read this one. It, this came out when I was sort of done with reading Kathy Cassidy, but it's just cute. It was free. I think I did own it. Maybe my sister tried to read it. I don't know, maybe I did read it. I really wanted to find Ginger Snaps because that was my favourite, but they didn't have it, so I got this one. And then something I've never heard of was Super Awkward by Beth Garrard, which seems to have been in the children's when it should have been YA, the stuff about bras, the fittest boy in school. So it's gonna be an easy time, isn't it? So yeah, all of these for £10. I said I was gonna fill my book haul. I'm actually gonna just put these books away and then I'm gonna go and sit and read in the sun because it's lovely outside. Okay, I'm back inside and I feel like I need a nap. I don't know what it is about sitting in the sun that tires me out, like I could definitely go to sleep. Um, but I stayed outside until I finished Harrow Lake and I think I'm gonna give this three stars. So just to sum up all of my feelings, I'll try and not talk for too long because um, this is probably a book that I could review in more detail. I don't know. I wasn't scared at any point of reading this. And I feel like some of the descriptions are things that would usually scare me. For example, like a child-sized China doll sat on the end of your bed would normally terrify me, but it didn't here. So I don't know. I don't know whether it's that I'm not in the mood to read 
scary stuff. So somehow I read it and wasn't scared. I don't know. Or if it was just written badly. Everything went exactly where I was expecting it to. But I remember reading it and thinking, okay, if it goes there, then that'll be really good. And it, it did go there. But the fact that I guessed it first, I guess is a good and a bad thing because it's how I thought it would make a good ending. I'm not an author, but I came up with it in my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will hold on to this and I feel like reading it again, if I can find the audiobook, I feel like that would really help like creep me out because I did want to be scared for this and I just wasn't. So weirdly disappointed, but like I've read it now. It was a good time. So my next thing, I want to finish 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. I'm really not in the mood for it though, is what sucks, but I'm gonna get some good reading done today. I don't think I'm gonna go back outside. Like I've been out a few hours now. I went for a walk already today. I feel like I do want to cuddle up on the sofa now. So I'm gonna reorganize my books. I've been um and ah in like whether to do this, but I'm starting to really hate, like let's take the yellows. I'm trying to wedge them all on there and keep them in color. It's just not working. So I'm gonna do them by size and by author's last name. So we're gonna have all standard paperbacks at the top, ending in the massive hardbacks at the bottom. I'm probably gonna regret this. I've got a podcast on the go. Let's do this. Right, I'm done. I hate the fact that I need, I feel the need to explain myself for getting rid of the rainbows. I really like the rainbows, but it was so hard to find books I wanted. Like I had to try and remember what the spine looked like if I was trying to find a book. So to explain, up to A Little Life and up in that order are normal size paperbacks sorted by the author's last name. I kind of like this kind of stack, a few and then another stack. It was making me fit loads on. I enjoy it. Then buy little Freddie Mercury's pop figure. These are all weird shaped little books. Anything like smaller than normal. These are average US paperbacks. Going into smaller hardbacks. Normal UK hardbacks. That's my Domino's order weird slightly bigger hardbacks still in the slightly weird and then big hardbacks um we also have house of leaves and horror store live up there now because one they just wouldn't fit anywhere um they were like the overlap so they live up there but yeah it's taken me a while i'm gonna sit and read now while i wait for my pizza <laughs> so i've read like eight more pages of this and I've checked my phone four times during that. I'm trying, it's just I'm not in the mood for it and I don't know whether I'm ever in the mood for this. But pizza's on the way! I thought that was pizza, it's not. This is far too much food for one person. I'm fine with it. So we've got the Supreme Domino's cookies. Mm. I need to shut that properly, keep them warm. We have garlic pizza bread. Mmm, love it. And this should be my chicken. Never tried those before. By the way, I would never order this much food for myself. It came in a deal and I'm going to eat it over the next two days. So do not judge. <laughs> but then the star of the show, my ultimate favourite pizza, is the chicken supreme. Like, it's supreme. So my reading sprint starts in 15 minutes and I just got this giant Amazon parcel and there's only one thing it can be and that's Jean's book which I only found out about two nights ago. It is! So, oh no, it's got like a grease stain. How do you get that off? 
anyone offer me advice on removing this? Um, but yeah, it's Greek Myths by, I never know how to say her last name, Jean. I will link her channel. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually a, technically a kid's book about all the Greek myths. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I know nothing. So we're not using this as a kid's book. We're teaching Chloe. But who has done this? And I think I saw the name. I'm going to kill you. It's Victoria. Again. <laughs> oh, God. She said, congratulations on passing your exam. You work so hard and you really deserve to succeed. I love you, but stop, woman. Stop. I'm... I can't even say anything. I'm... I appreciate you so much. So much. Hello. I have not long woken up on Sunday morning and I'm going to try and get motivated and do a lot today. I have plans. So I don't think I actually updated you about what I thought about 13 Treasures. I'll crop this out if I did. But yeah, finished it, rated it three stars. It was fine. Um, the last 100 pages really picked up for me and would have potentially been a four star, but because it took me so long to get into it at the beginning, I had to just give it three stars overall. But that's still a fine rating. I am going to unhaul it. As I said, I do have the sequel to read, so I'll try and prioritise that soon so that I don't forget what happened in the first one. Um, yeah, not, not like life changing for me, but I'm glad I gave it a go. Then I started off The Shadow Friend by Alex North, which I'm buddy reading with Sydney. This book is everything I wanted it to be. Sydney did point out that it could have mixed media and that would make it so much better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read the next chunk now. I'm going on to, um, well, I'm not on them, but Shannon from 155 Books is doing reading sprints. So I will be hanging about there and I'm going to try and get up to page 139, which is about 70 pages. I feel like I can do that. But this one of you died, one disappeared. You can't run forever. It's so creepy. I'm a bit confused on the perspectives, but really what's happening right now, I don't want to say too much because I don't know what happens first for giving us spoilers, but we've got Charlie who's committed a shocking murder, Paul who was one of Charlie's friends and it was their mutual friend who was murdered and then we follow, I don't know, I've forgotten the woman's name, there's also a woman police officer that we're following too. Amanda. I'm following Amanda too. So yeah, the perspectives is one thing I think Alex North could improve on, even whether it just had the person's name at the start of the title, at the chapter header, would improve it for me, just because sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out what's going on. My next plan is to read the entirety of Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. So I was talking to Emily from Emily Kathleen Reads last night when I was doing my sprints and she has read this and said she wanted to read it again. So I said, maybe you should do it and maybe you should host reading sprints tomorrow or maybe I'll come on and maybe we'll both read it. And it's kind of happened and we're both going to go on to Rebecca's sprints at 3.30. But because I do want to read all day, I may have finished it by then. I'm definitely going to try to just power through it in pretty much one sitting. It's quite short. It's 200 and... 60 pages so I could do it it's a very quick read and I definitely want to get it read today and then my next plans I'm going to be very ambitious I'm going to try and read the whole of Daisy Jones and the Six I didn't get hold of the audiobook soon enough so it will just be the physical book and I know everyone's going to say you should have read it with the audiobook I know I didn't get it in time I'm not paying for it um I'm not going to get scribbed again so we're going to just do it with the physical book I know that's big plans for today but like I've done more in a day before, so let's see. Now I'm going to get myself a bit more refreshed, make a cup of tea and get ready to watch Shannon sprints. Hello, it is now 10 past 11 and I finished the part of The Shadow Friend that I need to read today. I feel like I could sit and just finish this now. This is exactly what I want in a book and I think it's going to be five stars depending on how it's all executed at the end. If we get explanations for everything, then five stars. This is amazing i love it um so what i'm actually gonna do is finish my latest books i'm daunted by video which i think will be coming to you on either the thursday or the saturday after this vlog goes up so i have two more books i need to read a section of um 
how am I out of breath from just moving from my chair? The first one is The Binding by Bridget Collins. I have just dropped Victoria a message because in her unhaul that went live today, she said this author has been doing some questionable or saying some questionable things. And I want to go in informed. So when I put up this video, if I'm saying that I really like the book at the start, like that I, I know what's gone on, um, I just like to know. And then, I mean, I'm going to flip you around because I can't grab it. The other book I need is When I Wake Up by Jessica Jalvey. If you can see, it's under all that. So yeah, I'm going to have to dig that out, but I need to read the first chapter of these two books and that'll be in my Books I'm Taunted by video. Okay, so I just sat and read Midnight Sun for an hour and I read 185 pages, <laughs> which is mad. I've only got a slither left and I'm probably going to cry and I'm going to read it on Rebecca's Live. So I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to read Daisy Jones. But for now, I need to make like a little drink to start off the sprints because they start in 12 minutes. So, you know, I just need like sustenance ready. But yeah, this is the quickest read ever. This book destroys me every time. I was reading it and thinking maybe it does have to be four stars. It, maybe it's not the best thing ever, but it's too good. Hello, so I'm filming this while still on Rebecca's sprints and the other two have turned their camera off so I don't want to turn mine off but I just keep looking to make sure that nobody can hear my voice. They can't, we're fine. Um, so what I've done is I picked up Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm only 20 pages into this and it's fine but I'm not having any sort of pull to read it. So I am going to read it for this next 45 minute sprint where it's going to be more like 40 minutes by the time I've done this update. And it is Sunday, so it's going to be the last day of the vlog. But I'm going to start my dedicated vlog for Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight because I'm just not in the mood for anything apart from this. So I'm going to do it. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Um, Sydney, I think, read it in like three days. So... What I'm going to do is not going to impact no my normal vlog. I'm still going to vlog and I will just tell you where I am with it. But it shouldn't take me the whole week. So I'm hoping next week's vlog still has quite a lot of content, even though I'll be doing this in a separate one. Because I just want to do a dedicated one with so many spoilers and stuff. Which I don't want to put in my normal vlog, because if you don't care about this book, if you don't want to hear about the filthy things that happen in this book, then you don't have to listen to it in my normal vlog. I hope that's cool with everyone. And it will go up as close to the time where I finish this book as I can schedule it in. So yeah, there's now like 40 minutes left of the sprint. So I'm going to keep going with Daisy Jones and the Six. Try and get even 50 pages in, just get more of a feel of the story. But I'll be moving on to Den of Vipers when I'm not live on the internet. <laughs> Where are the treats, Bruce? Find the treats. Oh, you were so close. Where's Dad? Bruce. Sit. Yeah, look at your magic. Did you find it? Hello, so it is now um, nearly 11 o'clock on Sunday night and I'm wrapping this vlog up on a Sunday. Um, what have I done? I don't know what I was doing the last time I spoke to you. Daisy Jones, I've stopped at page 74. So, you know, that is a decent chunk, to be honest. I didn't plan on reading that much of Daisy Jones, so I'm impressed with that. Well, I did actually. I said I wanted to finish it, didn't I? Ignore that. 74 pages. And I'm currently on page 81 of Den of Vipers and I am absolutely loving my time reading it. Loving it. We've had notes, we've had discussions. Well, I've had a one-sided discussion, but I'm very much enjoying my time and I will continue reading this. 
So on that note, this vlog has probably been very, very long. If you got to this point, please leave me some sort of animal emoji um, to reflect the vipers of Den of Vipers. Even though I'm terrified of snakes, we have found out I love a snake on a book cover. So this does not bother me at all. But if you showed me a photo of a real snake curled like this, I'd be sick. But we love it here. So pictures of um, emojis of animals would be appreciated. So I know that you got this far in the vlog. But on that note, I'm going to stop talking so I can get in bed and continue reading this bad boy. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.